After seven years, the passion project of artist William Cheer is finally out with Manifold Garden. And what we have here is a almost beautifully sublime puzzle game with some of the most jaw-dropping imagery I think I've seen this year. There isn't too much of a story to the game. We are stuck in a world of non-Euclidean structures, which I'm sure, sure I just butchered, and we're in infinity as well. Our main form of puzzle solving is our ability to turn any wall into a floor and essentially adjust the plane of gravity. And that's represented by different colors. The rules work like this. Whatever plane that you're on, if there is a corresponding object or interactable, it will basically be able to perform its function. When you switch planes, that object will become frozen in whatever position it was when you left it. The puzzles themselves usually require you to either open up a door or get an object to its respective switch. And the game does a really good job of kind of trimming out the fat. There aren't a ton of puzzles in Manifold Garden, and so the game kind of grows and builds on various themes and mechanics. This is usually culminated with kind of a mega puzzle for an area, where you're trying to perform four or five different smaller puzzles that will open up the way towards the major solution. And this is usually shown by you getting what's called a god cube in order to free this world of corruption. But the story itself is kept entirely kind of in the background, so you, know, you don't need to worry about anything like that getting in the way of your puzzle solving. And there are secrets to the world Manifold Garden, which I don't know. I found a few little hints and pieces, but nothing that I can say definitively. And because this is a puzzle game, it's going to make it hard to talk a lot about it without spoiling things. So you guys can enjoy me falling infinitely and just basically admiring the sheer artistry of this game. And I really enjoyed it. This is a game that makes very good use of organic puzzles. They're all built within the rules and confines of this world itself, and it really becomes about you as the player mastering what the mechanics are and how you can get through things like that. There are a few, I guess, little, I guess, advanced tech you can do, such as falling and then grabbing an edge by, hitting the, by basically matching spacebar as you get close to it. But the game, I would say, is on the, I would say, moderate side in terms of puzzle solving. This is nowhere near some of the complexities that we see from a Zactronics game, but it does get a little bit twisty and turning, as you can probably guess with the infinity around you, in some of the later sections. Now, with that said, because of a game like this, Manifold Garden is a title that is explicitly designed to be like this. And it makes it very hard to talk about complaints or issues with the game, because I know that this is everything that Will wanted to put into it. With that said, I do have a few nitpicks with the game, and we even talked about this on a podcast interview that will be going up in a few weeks. And we're going to talk about our nitpicks now, but first a quick shout out to our current Game Wisdom Patreon supporters and sponsors. And now for a quick thank you to our current Game Wisdom Patreon supporters and sponsors. And if you continue this discussion on game design, be sure to check out our Discord channel, link down below. Manful Garden is an amazing puzzle game. You can definitely feel the level of craftsmanship and detail put into this world and over its seven years of development. There's not a lot that I can really complain about from a design standpoint. Again, this is a game that you can tell everything that the developer and the team wanted to put into it made it into this cut. With that said, there are a few tricky elements to the game. One of the things that I know is in some of the later puzzles is that they can become very confusing if you look at things from the wrong angle. And when I spoke to Will on our podcast interview, he said that a major point about Manifold Garden was this idea of shifting your perspective and how that changed the world around you. And that definitely comes into play with some of the later puzzles. In fact, the penultimate section in the game, I was stuck at that for longer than I really needed to be 
because I didn't see where there was one piece that I needed to grab in order to solve this puzzle. And you may run into problems like that for yourself, especially with these larger sections. As we said, for the mega puzzles that can take up a lot of space, if you miss one connective line or one room, it can completely mess up your ability to solve this puzzle. And there are no hints or guides or anything like that within the game itself. So if you get stuck, good luck trying to get yourself unstuck, especially trying to tell people where you're currently stuck at as well. And there are a few like little like weird nitpicky stuff as well, such as sometimes going up and down stairs can become a little bit hard because your character may get stuck at the wrong plane. And they're already working on a patch which should be out either close to or around the time this video goes up that will alleviate that. But other than those points, again, I can't really talk too much about the design of this game. This is one of those titles that you know pretty much right away if this is for you or not. If you've been ooing and eyeing as I have as you've been watching me fall left, right, up and down through Infinity, then you're going to be enjoying Manifold Garden. If you're not a fan of puzzle style games, then there's nothing here I think that's going to really change your mind otherwise. But I would like to thank William for giving me a press key to check this one out. And be sure to listen to our podcast interview when it goes up. I should be including a link to it in this piece when it does. And thank you again for watching. If you're working on your own game, let me take a look at it in the future. Please don't hesitate to get in touch and check back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where we're in the art and science of games. Once again, this has been Manifold Garden. And until next time, take care. If you're looking for more wisdom about game design, be sure to check out my latest offering of books, 20 Essential Games to Study, aimed for first-time developers and students looking for some inspiration for their upcoming games, and Game Design Deep Dive Platformers if you're interested in anything regarding 2D and 3D platforming design. They're both available in print, digital, and wherever books are being sold. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy things, be sure to do all the liking and subscribing that the kids are doing these days. Check out our Discord channel link down below where we hang out and chat game design. And come back later tonight for our regular streamings. But that's it. And tune in for more great content here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games.